Today at a press conference at Bristol Motor Speedway, it was announced that North Wilkesboro will return to racing. Not specifically NASCAR racing, that is a potential though that we will talk about, but it is returning and it's going to have a few different looks just over a few months, the first few months of it being back. So let's look at some of the details. Let's, let's look at some of the quotes about North Wilkesboro, the track that has not been run in the NASCAR side of things since 1996. The most recent winner, greatest of all time, Jeff Gordon, of course. Um, he won the final race, the final cup race there. I believe trucks ran there in 96 as well. Couldn't tell you who won in, I think, the Bush series. I don't think they were running it in 96, but I think they ran a few races there uh, in the mid to late 80s was their last runs there. But um, yeah, so it says North Wilkesboro will have races of grassroots series on asphalt races in August and then dirt in October. And then there will be a repave in 2023. So what they're going to do is they're going to have races on the current asphalt i don't know if they're going to touch it up if they're going to kind of you know just get it ready enough but it's going to be one full month of racing not like you know nascar where it's every sunday they're going to have a full week of racing and sunday's actually going to be the day off is what mark i think it was marcus smith who said this or the track president or the whoever's running it someone in that press conference said that what they're going to do is monday and tuesday will be the practice and qualifying sessions for whatever class it may be that's running at north wilkesboro that week and then tuesday and wednesday will probably be the races or you know heat races whatever it may be and then thursday friday saturday it'll be the same kind of rotation and then sunday will be off but sunday can also be used if you know there's weather so if there's rain there's a storm or something and they can't run on a saturday they would push it back to sunday or if they had to push everything back a day early in the week they would run it on sunday but that is the plan for august they're going to run whatever the current layout is whatever the current pavement is it hasn't been it's been run for some stuff but that was still 15 or so years ago but for the big nascar stuff it's been 26 years we're in 2022 so yeah 26 years it's been quite a while but uh the track's been dormant hasn't had much run in recent memory lots of pictures of it uh you know there's grass growing up through the cracks and stuff grassroots racing uh, that, was, uh, that was a bad joke um but anyways yeah so um where was i it has it's it's an old surface so hopefully it'll be good enough to run races there um, but then after that they're gonna tear it up and they're gonna put dirt down or put the original dirt layout north wilkesboro back in the day a long time ago used to be a dirt track actually some people were guessing uh no one official but people were guessing that north wilkesboro would replace bristol as the dirt race in the cup series but that is not the case um so they're gonna have in october is going to be the dirt where they're going to, you know, put dirt cars on there and, you know, race it as a dirt track. It doesn't really need to be over explained there. And then they will do the repave in 2023. And uh, yeah, so we'll look at some of the quotes, some of the details, the cars that will be run in August. So that will be super late models, street stocks, pro late models, limited late models, open wheel modifieds, late model stocks and hornets. Those will be the cars run on the asphalt, the old asphalt or the current asphalt, I should say, in August and in October on the dirt. It will be super late models, 410 sprint cars, big block modifieds, street stocks, open wheel modified, 602 crate late models, 604 crate late models, stock cars, and Hornets. So that is the current plan or those are the current series cars that are being lined up to run at North Wilkesboro on of course the asphalt and then the dirt um but yeah as for the nascar side of things will nascar run there will it be the trucks will it be xfinity will it be cup marcus smith said it's most likely going to be trucks if it is going to be any of the series uh what he said is that he doubts that any truck race will be there for 2023 and he says he doesn't see the infrastructure and the size of the size of the facility being able to have the Xfinity and Cup Series back at the track. Um, so yeah, it looks like if a NASCAR, one of the big three NASCAR series is going to be run there, it's going to be the trucks, um, but not Cup and Xfinity. That could change though, obviously. 
um, if they improve the facility or if they add on to the facility in terms of the fan attendance and that kind of thing. So, but um, yes, it looks like it could be trucks. And then also Marcus Smith said if it was going to be, he said it would cons conservative conservatively, it would be ready by 2024. So, you know, giving themselves some time. They don't want to say, oh yeah, 2023, it's going to be ready. And then it ends up not being ready, a big disappointment. Um, they didn't want to jump the gun. So they kind of, you know, said, all right, let's sit back and let's think about this realistically. And uh, so he said 2024 would be the, or, or the, you know, most likely year for that to be run, but nothing is locked into place. And even with the trucks, he didn't sound too like 100% confident that trucks would be at North Wilkesboro, but then some quotes. Let's look at some good old quotes here. As we begin the process of bringing North Wilkesboro Speedway back to life, this is a great opportunity for the historic short track to host grassroots racing and allow, and allow our team to learn more about what needs to be done before a grand reopening in the future, said Speedway Motorsports President and CEO Marcus Smith. Our vision is to revive this venue into a multi-use entertainment facility, but racing will always be the core product. We know fans and competitors will enjoy kicking the tires alongside us with some live competition this year as we begin renovations. Um, of course, the state of North Carolina earlier this year uh, put aside, I think it says here, $18 million to uh, kind of help some of the tracks in North Carolina and also specifically North Wilkesboro to be revived, revamped, rebuilt, whatever they needed to do to put the track back, back on the map. Um, so the state of North Carolina is actually helping um, with financially, they're helping with the rebuilding, the restructuring, the redoing of North Wilkesboro uh, to return to its proper racing roots. As uh, this says, as I'm sure many of you know, it's a historic track. It's been around since the 40s. Um, it's a very old racetrack, but it's been pretty dormant as of recent. So trying to bring it back, bring back more racing into the North Carolina area, to the Wilkes County area. Um, so yeah, a lot of money being poured into this facility, being poured into this project. And a lot of credit was given to Dale Jr. for him and iRacing kind of going to the track and scanning it, whatever they do for iRacing. I don't know how they scan the tracks, but they scanned the track and it's on iRacing now. I think they ran the Pro Invitational <laughs> Series there once. Remember when that was a thing? Um, but yeah, um, yeah, so back a few months ago, might have been this year, late 2021, they released some, like, what's it called? Not art, um, some renders. I don't know if that's the right word, um, but some preview pictures of what it could look like once it's rebuilt and stuff of cars on track of some of the live entertainment facilities outside of racing. They released some of those pictures a few months ago. Um, I remember when that was a big thing. Uh, but yeah, they're going to actually kind of go for it. They're going to go do that. So let's look at another quote. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity for competitors and short track race fans to experience North Wilkesboro Speedway one more time on the old asphalt and then on dirt as it first began, said XR C event CEO Barry Braun. We have a lot of work to do with sanctioning bodies and competitors to get ready for August, but we're committed to producing an event that both fans and racers will remember for a lifetime. So, uh, yeah, they're looking to, you know, rebuild this thing fully. So I'm excited for it, personally. Uh, we've talked about more short tracks. It's a .625 mile track uh, in NASCAR specifically. But outside of that, uh, if you're in that area or if you're a big fan of local racing, uh, whether it be dirt racing, uh, short track racing, whatever it may be, the grassroots racing. Um, I hope you're excited for that. Uh, North Wilkesboro is a track that people really liked it seem or like or currently like uh, it seems like. So uh, really excited to see this track kind of getting some revival of some sort. And I hope it all goes well. And if NASCAR can go there one day, then great. Uh, I'm excited. I hope it can go there one day, whether it's the trucks, whether it's Xfinity, or whether it is indeed Cup. But uh, for all those who do like North Wilkesboro, who do like your short track, your dirt, race, your dirt racing, your local racing series, I hope you're really excited for it. I hope you're able to see it if you want to go see it. But uh, an iconic and historic NASCAR track is getting revived. It's gotten racetrack CPR. And... Uh, with a lot of money. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to see the track back. I really don't know what else to say. We got some quotes that I shared with you there. 
uh, got some information on what kind of cards are going to be running there and the potential for the future. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like. We're going to talk about NASCAR a lot more. Um, but tomorrow we got the Bristol Dirt Race. Tonight we got heat races. And uh, yeah, see you guys for that. Subscribe, all that stuff. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great Easter.